Hi, I'm Matthew Hussey and I'm a matchmaker on Ready for Love. Well, my background didn't come from matchmaking specifically. I, I was a coach, or I am a coach. So I started out working with people just on their confidence. And I did this from an early age, like a scarily early age, I guess. I was 17 when I started. And the reason I started so young was, firstly, I, I, I knew my dream was to work with people. But when you're 17, it's hard to be a life coach. You know, firstly, I hated the term life coach, like the idea that you could coach people on life. I thought it was the most arrogant term in the world. But what I'd done growing up was I had, I wasn't the, the most secure guy in the world. I was worried what everyone thought of me. And I got to a place where I realized how much of life I was missing out on by being that. So I was able to work on my own confidence to a point where I then started to help other people. So I would help anyone around me in my circle or people who would come and pay me for an hour of coaching. And I became known as the one hour confidence guy who could fix, you know, any confidence issue you had, would work on it, would fix it within an hour. And it got to a place then where I was being taken into companies and co coaching large groups of guys in different parts of, the, of, of England. After a while of doing this, guys started coming to me for love advice. I never, never set out to give love advice, I might add. It just was almost a default. I started to work with guys in their love lives. Two years later, I, I run seminars for guys all over the world. I work with people individually. I coached 10,000 guys over a two year period. By the time I'd done that, it got to a place where women started coming to me saying, when are you gonna do this for us? And I had said, probably never. Because <laughs> the idea of coaching 300 women at a time in a theater scares the hell out of me. I could take a group full of guys, but you know, women is a different story. And then what happened was I said, okay, I'll do it for a little test group. You know, friends, family, women that I know, and if it works for them, then we'll expand it. And I had 10 women in a room and I started off by saying, look, I don't know you, but I know guys. Right? I know why they do the things they do, why they don't call, why they won't commit, why they run off with someone else. I know these things. So if that helps you, I'll give you that. And we spent three hours going through everything I knew about guys. These women went away and the ones who didn't have boyfriends went and got them. The ones who were in relationships had their relationships changed. The guys treated them differently. So we said, okay, maybe there's something here. And I built a program that lasts for a weekend where women come and they learn the complete A to Z of everything they need to know to make their love lives a success. And the program became known as Get the Guy. I said I coached 10,000 guys who've now coached in my live events 50,000 women. If you look at the dating world as we know it now, it consists of a whole industry that's built around the idea that our only problem is that we just don't meet each other. And of course that's not the problem. We, we walk past people every day. We could say hi, you know, people are out there. But we all have bad habits in our love lives. Even those of us that think we're perfect, you know, we all have bad habits. And unless you fix those, it doesn't matter if you pair someone up with the perfect person. They're still gonna make, find a way to sabotage it. We went out to the country of American women and, and women beyond that, because actually we have some international women on the show, but we said, you know, um, if you wanna be with these guys, if you've looked at these guys and you think they're right for you, then we want you to meet them. And if we think you're right for them, then, then let's take you through this journey. And that's what happens. So now you have a situation where the men and the women are right for each other in some way, or at least we've decided that they are. Doesn't mean we get it right every time, but that's the idea. From there, we say, okay, yes, woman A, we think you're right for this guy, but you still have things that you're doing wrong. And what, what's so great about this and what, where my coaching background has become so, I think, essential to this process is that I get to watch these women on the dates and I get to watch what they do with the guys. And in week one and two, I get to say, listen, if we talk to the guy now about what he would do with you in real life terms, he wouldn't call you back. Like, you, this is not good. I think you're right for him, but you're doing it wrong. <laughs> and so, Having gone through that, we get to a place where we say, okay, here's what you need to do differently if you want him to actually consider you as a realistic option.